Released on the 17th of June in 2016, Crack the Clue was introduced to the players of old school RuneScape in the form of various clue scrolls posted on the official forums by the developers of the game. Over the course of four weeks, four total clue scrolls were posted, leading to different locations all over the game, rewarding players with a unique set of armor that still holds up as some of the best fashionscape in the entire game. Each clue in itself was fairly simple to solve, with landmarks, trees, rocks and other icons making the locations recognizable to the veteran players, and this showed with the speed of each step being solved. However, embedded in the four clue scrolls were markings that made no sense and had no impact on solving each individual step. In the corners of each clue, there was a theater symbol, this small circle with a line through it. Golden lines were present on each of the clues as well, in no discernible pattern. And then there was also a series of markings along the edge of the maps as well. But what did all of this mean? Well, Jagex said at the beginning that the information to solve the fifth and final step will come from combining all of the information from the four steps prior. This, of course, set the community into a frenzy. Not only was the first person to solve this complex puzzle to be forever immortalized into the game under the examined text of the reward, but more importantly, there was a riddle to solve. Over a year had passed and no one had solved RuneScape's biggest puzzle. People were getting close, narrowing down locations, figuring out items, but no one had yet to find the Helm of Raidwald. Until July 2017 when Pikachu Yip had finally done it. He had cracked the clue and his name was forever in the game under the examined text of the helmet, an ancient helmet of King Raidwald in Denorf, first discovered by Pikachu Yip. This is how the community came together to solve this puzzle and how the clue was cracked. The easiest piece of information to figure out was obviously one of the first ones to be found. The markings on the edge of the four clue steps we were given. Rotating them in correlation with each other at the correct angles revealed that they were partials of letters and needed to overlap with the others to spell out the first hint. 10N5W now when it comes to clue scrolls, various steps require the player to move in directions from a location to get to the correct spot. So this was widely accepted as the movements required from a specific location to reach the final hiding place of the helmet. However, this meant we were working backwards. We have the final actions required, but no starting point. So we went back to the drawing board. What else can we gain from the other markings on the steps? The golden lines in each of the clues were the next piece of the puzzle to come into place. If you got all four of the previous clues in, overlap them pivoting on the theta symbols until they lined up, you would see what looked like an outline of a small island. A player by the name of Wooks wrote a program to scan the entire world map to line this outline up, and he found it. Located deep within the wilderness next to the Lava Dragon Isle was a singular island surrounded by lava. On this small, inaccessible island, situated perfectly to line up with the theta symbols, was a nature rune, showing us one of the items required to uncover the helmet. We were inching closer, but we needed more. The theaters themselves, already providing the location of one item, were about to reveal two more. The way that these symbols were orientated on the clue, which corner they were in, and which clue they were on, was in fact the next clue. To do this, we needed to grab a clue and go to its location, and then draw a line across the world map in the direction that the theta symbol is orientated. Alone, this might not look like much, but having the locations north of Arti and south of Yanil together drew two lines that intersected at an area in Al Karid, and the other two intersected just north of Castle Wars. Now this is rather difficult to pinpoint the exact tile they intersect on, but in hindsight we already know the item that's required so we know the tile that they actually intersect on and that is that they intersect on a tile in this building right here on the leather boots. North of Castle Wars was the tile that had the super anti-poison singular dose on. We were close, we had the items, we had the movements required, but where do we start? Well, X marks the spot. It was that simple. All that was required was to simply draw lines between the steps that had their theta lines intersect on the game map and we received the starting location, just outside of the monastery south of Arti. Now we're here with the items, let's move 10 steps north
and five steps west and dig. And that was it. Over 12 months of theory crafting, hunting, April Fool's jokes and one insane program written, the helmet was found and Crack the Clue was over. Well, the, the first one was. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. Crack the Clue was a great event and I hope Jagex does more in the future. If this or other guide or history related content interests you, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I progress on my hardcore Iron Man playing the game in the new 117 HD plugin on the RuneLight client. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.